If you've seen me speak, you'll know I often show a video that features a paraplegic swimmer uh, from China swimming at the Sydney Paralympics in the year 2000. His name's Bo Rangong and he has no arms. And when I say no arms, I mean no arms at all. They've been amputated here at the shoulders. He's swimming in the, uh, an event, 100 metres breaststroke final against some quite tough opposition, including Sasha Kindred from Great Britain, who's a well-known Paralympic swimmer. As you'll see from this clip, Gong eventually wins the silver medal. Race of the first week pitted Great Britain's Sasha Kindred and Matthew Walker against Bo Ram Gong of China, a swimmer with no arms. Kindred, Gong and Walker, the leading three as they go into the turn. And what a remarkable swimmer Gong is. His upper limbs are missing, but his leg kick is so emphatic that he is challenging now for gold alone. The Chinese uh, swimmer at the top of your picture now. And there's absolutely nothing in it. Terrific swim. And what an impressive performance by Bo Ran Gong of the People's Republic of China. Silver medal to him and uh, a disability that makes him have to work so much harder. I think his achievement's absolutely amazing and most people find it really hard to believe that he can do what he does. I'm a good swimmer, I'm not a breaststroker, but I can't swim breaststroke that fast. It's, that's an amazing achievement. Now, I know he doesn't win the gold, but I don't think that's the point. I think the video teaches us that we're capable of a huge amount more than we actually think we're capable of. Do you think Gong has got an excuse or two that, that might be holding him back, that he could use? Looking at how he finishes the race, do you think he's sort of committed to what he's doing? Does he have a few problems to overcome, like, you know, coping with headaches, for example, or before he gets in, how does he put his goggles on? And when he gets out of the pool, how does he do that? How does he actually physically get out? If you're a manager, for manager, read coach. If Gong came to you and said he wants to win a medal at the Paralympics, would you have prejudged him looking at his, the way he is physically? Would you have made a judgment about what he's capable of? I think I would. Do you really think you have a tough life? <laughs> now I thought you might like to look at the video maybe when you feel sorry for yourself, when you're a bit down, if you've had a tough week, a few rejections, things don't seem to be going your way, or, or maybe you want to make an excuse or even quit. Looking at the video would probably help in that environment, wouldn't it? And I thought you might like to ask yourself a question. Really, how tough is my chosen path? Have I really been given it my all recently? Should I be feeling sorry for myself right now? Maybe we should be saying to ourselves, if Bo Rangon can do that, then surely I can achieve my goal. You know, we tell our kids that you can do absolutely anything you want to do, and yet, how often do you tell yourself that?